really excited to get started on a project that I have wanted to do since before we bought the RV. Um, looking at it, I just knew that this fabric and this pattern and the colors were just not what I would want. And not that that was going to be a deal breaker because everything else about the RV was so great. Um, I just foresaw changing it and um, instead of trying to reupholster or make a cover or do something like that, I'm going to use chalk paint. And uh, I've been researching on the internet, it seems tried and true, and um, I'm going to have to put on several coats just to cover up the pattern and the, um, I know the detail and the unevenness in the pattern will still show through, but I'm okay with that. And it's more just about getting some color in here. Hold a good thought. I think it's going to work out. Hopefully the fact that this slides over itself is not going to wear it, the paint down prematurely, but um, I bought a wax to coat it and that will help protect it. So let's get started. So you're supposed to um, have your surface slightly damp, so you don't want it to be soaking wet, but wow, that is dirty. don't want to seal all those little particulates in there. So I did a little test on the other arm piece that goes over here and I'm gonna definitely have to sand in between coats which is what I've seen people doing because um, even though I've watered down the paint, it gets a little stiff and because you're going to have bare skin on here and people sleeping, it's got to be comfortable. So um, that will be part of what I'm doing as well. Let's try this again. definitely don't want it too wet because it's not like I can take this outside into the sun to dry out. So a common mixture that I was seeing online was um, three part paint to one part water. So that what I have done and I'm going to do my painting in several directions just to try to really work it in. Um, basically I'm staining the fabric and so you want to work it down in there. And I know that it's going to take, I don't know, maybe four or five coats. That's what I've kind of seen other people working with and so I'm just going to evaluate it at each coat and just take it from there. With the fast motion it's hard to see but I am using my spray bottle to um, get the fabric very slightly damp um, for each section before I paint. Alright so uh, this is the couch with one coat of paint on there. Um, I didn't keep real close track of my time but I would guess I've spent maybe three hours on it um, and it definitely is a little stiff um, the parts that I did yesterday um, were the top two cushions in this one and then I did the rest today and so over here where it felt really stiff I just used a real light sanding um, with the real fine grit and it actually feels pretty great so I'm gonna get the second coat going here real soon. I'm excited I think it looks great.
so this is the finished couch. It has um, two layers of the chalk paint on it. And then um, I sealed it with a coat of wax. Can't wait to kind of get it all done. So pretty pleased. It definitely did change the um, feel of the fabric. It's still soft and comfortable, but um, it feels maybe a little more like patio furniture than the real cushy soft fabric. I used Annie Sloan chalk paint. I think that color is pronounced Provencia. Um, and then the clear wax. And um, I also painted the window valences just anywhere that had that fabric. So I have also painted the dinette cushions and um, I've already finished them. I've already waxed them, but I realized I didn't film any of um, that process of, of doing the wax or, or very in-depth of sanding. So um, I just thought I would go ahead and do it right over the top of this so you can see. Basically you're going to sand over the entire thing, but there'll be some areas that are still going to be a little bit rough. Uh, I don't know if you, this will come across, but you can see that it's just like a little stiff here still. I'm going to use my fine grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna smooth this down. Some microfiber cloth. I am getting some discoloration there so you can see there's some dust from the sanding. Just I, it's warm here where I'm at, so my wax is super soft, but um, hardly getting anything on there because I'm just doing a really small area. But um, just rub it in kind of every which way, and you'll see those discoloration lines went away. So much smoother, so much softer than it was before. You'll want to give this at least 24 hours for the wax to dry before you sit on it. Um, and for me, I actually thought maybe it took closer to a full two days before I felt before I felt like I wasn't getting a, a waxy feel on things. But you'll just. Um, do a warm soapy water cleanup and you're all set. So that's it guys. I hope this was informative, helpful. I hope it maybe inspires you to give your own project a try. A caveat, I think all fabrics are different. They're probably gonna react differently to being painted, being sanded. So your outcome might not look like my outcome, but always test things out on a small hidden area first if you can do that so you feel more confident proceeding. If you have comments or questions please leave them um, in the comments below the video. I'd love to help you troubleshoot or um, you know figure things out for your project. Stay tuned we've got all kinds of uh, renovation and how-to videos coming up. Um, I'm in the process of painting the interior of the RV so I'll definitely be putting out some videos about that um, if you like what we're doing please subscribe to our channel that would be amazing and um, basically thanks so much for your support okay take care guys have a great night